Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Tim Wood. There's a sense of anticipation in the ballpark as everyone waits to see if he can inch closer to the consecutive game hitting streak. And now maybe extra bases. The throw into second, and he'll pull into second safely. All over that one right there. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Now, here is Michael Harris. Throw to third, and he's in there easily. Out to short, Henderson. Sends it across the first. That's out number one. One, and a run comes in to score. Now batting Jordan Luplo. Good situational hitting right there. Grounds out. Gets that run in from third. They get on the board first. One out. Base is empty. Up the middle. Henderson. On the run. Sends it over to first. On the money. Nice play. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. And there's a ball. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And Judge spoils that one. Lifted in the air, right field. Santander makes the catch, and that'll do it. Now a chance for Jordan Westberg, singing he's never finished the season with more stolen bases in his entire career. And the pitch. And now it's even up. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Rip to first, caught. That swing right there tells me he's seen the ball pretty well. I know he didn't lose a hit, but he made oh, solid man. contact, and that's all you're hey. looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Hey. That flips the corner. Hey. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two down. Here's Adley Rutschman. Singing, he was the first player taken in what has turned out to be a talented draft class. Well, Booth, 2019 delivered a youth movement for Major League Baseball. Adley, Bobby Witt Jr., Corbin Carroll, and the list goes on. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Set for the start of the inning. Here's a big power threat. Austin Riley. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. And it's even up. Righty delivers. Here's a swing and a drive. Left field and he knew it. gigantic blast his second home run of the series and they tack one on the board it's two nothing here's Matt Olson swings through that it was exciting to see a leadoff home run and an inning kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning here's a one two that's ball three two balls Two strikes. Fights it off, you'll see another. Ripped into right center. Base hit. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. We've all that, seen that, the defensive that, that. shift make a big difference in defending against pull hitters, but 
It's not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he Good found one. a hole that time. Squirts away a little bit. No advance. Good job behind the dish. One on, nobody out, a run in here at the top of the second. That one ripped. Way back there. And it bangs off the foul pole. Home run. A two-run shot. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add on. It's 4-0. Here's Orlando Arcia. And that's in, off ball two. the inside edge. Two and one. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. And a base hit. Four hits in a that row, and out. they're really swinging it here. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. And a pitch. Swung on, belted. Kowser going back on this one. Makes the catch up against the wall. Typically not easy to go deep to center field, but he almost did right there and got a little help from the win, just not enough. So the lineup flips over. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Tim Wood, the 1-1. One -one. That Whoa, one missed. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, You'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That's back there. And that one is gone. Touchdown, Utah Street. A massive home run. Their third home run of the inning. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 6-0. Coming on for the Orioles, Tyler Wells. He's into the game with the bases empty. Now the number two hitter, Michael Harris. One down, base is empty. Slapped foul. Righty to the plate. Struck him out looking. Jordan Luplo next up for the Braves. Now right fielder, Jordan Luplo. Ball to strike. The pitch. Good eye in that spot. Fastball for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Two outs. And they'll do it again. The 2 2 on the way. And another ball. Got it by him for the K. Now at Oriole Park, Anthony Whoa. Santander at the plate. The right field. Anthony Santander. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too That's fine awesome. and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Way high. 
Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're... Oh, and a great stop from his backside. Nicely done for the out. Batting good. Good. Not sure stop. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. Gunnar Henderson was the unanimous choice for American League Rookie of the Year in 2023. Got off to a slow start, but finished the season with 28 homers, playing as the Orioles' everyday shortstop. You know, Adley Rushman nearly won the award in 2022. The future is bright for the Orioles. The pitch. On the ground to the left. Throw on to You're Olsen. Out. Already two out here in the home half, half of inning number two. Two outs, bases empty. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Base knock right field. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. He was all over that one. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. And now Ramon Urias. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Now one, one and ball, two. Two strikes. Kicks and deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Aaron Judge at the plate. Right hander kicks deals. And there's a foul ball. Bounce it off, still one and two. Got a good solid contact right there, just a bit out in front of that fastball. Got to try to stay on that bat side just a little bit longer and see if you can do some damage. And another ball. A base hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. You can drive a ball like that. More often than not, you're picking up a knock. pitch foul ball still a one and two count judge aboard here at first with nobody out and a pop-up right side foul territory and there's one down man at first and now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit Matt Olson. Two and two stays alive. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Santander drifts towards it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two away down. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. Second base. And a pitch. Close nope. one doesn't get the call. And now three and one.
Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score him. So now oh, two boy. on and two outs. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. First and second, two down. Here in the third and final game of the series. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Set for the bottom Leading of the third off. and into the box for Baltimore, Colton Kalzer. Kalzer. Here's a 1 1. In the air on the infield. One up, one down. And now, Kyle Stowers. The designated hitter. The Orioles with a lot of ground to make up here in the last half of the third. Ground ball to the right side and foul ball. The lefty fires. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So the batting order turns over. Next to hit, Jordan Westberg. Two outs, bases empty. And a foul ball. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. That misses. The count now two and two. It's a good take. Swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. We go to the top of the fourth, and now the catcher comes up to him, Sean Murphy. Murphy. Kicks and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Swings and misses, struck him out. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Tim Wood next up for the Braves. One down, base is empty. In the air, out to center. Settles under it. Hauls it in, two away. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. The M.O. for him is contact. The guy who's going to deliver average, not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Y'all, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two-hole hitter or a guy that you could put at the bottom to help turn that lineup. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Bottom four, here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. No left fielder. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play. And I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. And now the lefty. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Here's Adley Rutschman. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. One ball, two strikes. Got him swinging. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Anthony Santander. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. 
way out front for strike two. And One you ball. had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. Oh. And another ball. 2-2 two -two now. Pop up here, third base side. Arcia makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Back here in Baltimore, and now the right fielder, Jordan Luplo. Jordan Luplo. And the righty deals. And he swings through that one. Two balls, two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here is Aaron Judge. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. This one in the air. Urias under it. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Austin Riley. Austin Riley. Two down, nobody on. Fouls it off, still one and two. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. And we're back. Leading we head to the bottom Will of the fifth. And now the shortstop, Gunnar, Gunnar Henderson. Henderson. The wide, the kick, and the one two. Gets a piece and stays alive. The one two. Misses nope. just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Next offering is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got him looking for the K. The first base hit number six. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ryan Mountcastle. Mountcastle. The line to kick the pitch. That's down and in. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo Eight, shot. Two. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Two ball, two One strike. down, base is empty. Three. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Up next is Here's the second base, the second Ramon base. Rios. So easy to look at the big boys in this lineup, but he has been a pleasant surprise all season long. That clips the zone. One and two. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. On the ground. Riley. Fires across the diamond. And the Orioles set down in order. Now at Oriole Park, top of the sixth inning. Now in for the Braves, Matt Olson. Here's a 1 1. Swings through that one out in front that one time. Two strikes. There's a line drive to left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Here is Ozzie Albies up to him. One down, base is empty. Hard ground ball, base now. The bat at number five. Here's the shortstop Orlando. at the play. Orlando Arcia. And he deals. Ball. 
Two balls, one strike. That one finds the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Picks up strikeout number seven. Here's Sean Murphy. The pitch. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes. This one smoked out to left. Drops into the glove. And that'll do it. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The Bottom Orioles. of the sixth inning. And the now the center center fielder, Colton, Colton. Kowser. The pitch. That's in there. And the count's even at two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Next offering upstairs. Spoils a two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Left hand batter waits. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Three. Got it by him for the K. Now that one. The and here is Kyle Stowers. The wind of the pitch. And another ball. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now And stepping in is the speedy Jordan Westbrook. The wind and the pitch. Just missed. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. And that's outside. Three and one. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And that's too high. Ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line and into the gap will produce a two out RBI. And those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Next offering in there for a strike. And one a count. Ball, one and two. Three. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Cole Irvin. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these batters better be ready to swing the bats. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Tim Wood. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. The one two fights it off. He'll see another. The pitch. Bows that off to the left and we'll do it again. And the pitch. And another ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Yeah. 
the left hand. So a man aboard, Michael Harris. Now at the plate. Left hand hitter waits. Right through there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. The Braves up big in this one here at the top half of inning number seven. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Falling behind two and one. Two and one the count now. Yeah, he balls, hasn't seen a fastball break. yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Eight, Swing two. and a miss. Good late two sink balls, on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. I got three and three. Just outside. And a full count now. And here it comes. And it finds its way through for a hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield. So I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. This to third. Base hit. That was smoke through the infield. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's seven to nothing. A couple of singles back to back. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on the pitch like he did right there. And now here is Austin Riley. The next pitch misses. Three balls and a strike. And that one pulled foul. The pitch. Liner caught it second. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Matt Olson up to the plate. Two on, two outs. That oh, misses the zone, and it's two and one. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. A little bit low. Traffic on the bases with one already in. Here in the third and final game of the series. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Sizes this one up. Brings it in for the third out. <laughs> Set for the last half of the seventh. And now the switch in and catcher, Adley Rutschman. Ball to strike. You know, these Orioles, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating hey. moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out and one now away in the bottom right of the seven. Now Anthony. it's the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. One down, base is empty. It's so impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. 2-2. Two, two. Two. In the air to left center. Wood has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter will be the shortstop, the Gunner Henderson. Shortstop, Gunner. Two outs. Henderson. 
Swing and a miss. One and two. One ball, two strikes. And that keeps the inning going. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Dylan Lee. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. The one, two. And that's just foul. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. We're at the top of the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. The lefty fires. Fly ball to right. Santander in pursuit. He's got it. And there's one down. And next for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. Base is empty, one away. And we're in the top of the eighth. That one at the knees for a strike. One ball, two strikes. There's a swing and a drive. And it's off the wall. The throw in. Now, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that match up again. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Liner stayed at first. To second with the throw, no chance to get back. It's a double play. Bottom of the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Ramon Urias. At the belt and fires. Fastball for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Patience and discipline paid off right no, there no, as he got into an advantage no, count. No, no, no. Just a solid no, swing no, no. right there. Caught it out fine and no, lifted no, it into no, the no. outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now here is Colton Kowser. He goes down looking. And at first, no, no, no. and now no, it's no, going to no, be no, Kyle no. Stowers. No, no. Urias, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Now the count, one and two one after ball. the swing and the miss. Right. I think he was a little excited there, saw the fastball, but needed a step ladder to get to that one. He's going to have to tighten it back up. He wants to have a good at bat. Sizing this one up. Two away. So back to the oh, top of the Orioles cool. lineup. Now the third oh, baseman, oh, oh, Jordan Westberg. Oh, the Orioles with a lot of ground to make up here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. That one finds the zone and the count one and two. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. Luplo tracks it down for the out.
We go to the ninth, and now Tim Wood. Oh, yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. Right through there for a strike. Hard hit, right side. Throws to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Now the left fielder, Michael Harris. Bases empty one away here at the top of the ninth. Next pitch is downstairs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. Now it's the right fielder, Jordan Luplo. Jordan well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. And a swing and a miss, and it's a three-up, three-down inning. Pierce Johnson into the game. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Johnson. And now it's Austin Leading Hayes. For the Orioles, the left fielder, Austin, Austin. Hayes. So a foul ball makes it one and two. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Headed towards the corner, Harris after it. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Got him looking. Now only one out remaining. Anthony Santander right getting ready to hit. They're down to their final strike. I think he was sitting off speed. One ball, two strike. This could end it. And that one hammered. That's back. And that one's back on into the bleachers. It's 17th of the year. It's 7-1. So two down, and the batter down, Gunnar Henderson. Swings through that one for strike two. so well they're packing the stands and it's just an exciting brand of baseball we'll see how far it goes but right now no one thinks it's going to end anytime soon and a 7-1 finish in this one and the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Chambi thanks for joining us Thank mm -hmm. you.